So look at, look at Zechariah chapter 13. Look at verse number 1. Here's the context. In that day. So we're developing the con- This is a very important statement. You'll see it in verse 2. It says it came to pass in that day. What day are we talking about? Understand it's building on chapter 12, and last week we spent a lot of time looking at the, the, the day that's being mentioned. It's not a future day as far as from us today, but what is that day that we're looking at? Turn back to chapter 12, look at verse number 10. He says, And I will pour upon the house of David and upon the inhabitants of Jerusalem the spirit of grace and of supplications, and they shall look upon me whom they have pierced, and they shall mourn for him as one mourneth for his only son, and, in the, and shall be in bitterness for him as one that is in bitterness for his firstborn. So anybody want to just take again? Now we laid it out last week, and you can go back and watch it if you don't remember, but it was very clear that last week we saw chapter 12 in that day was talking about the crucifixion of Jesus Christ because he even quoted that in his earthly ministry. He quoted Zechariah chapter 12 and said, this is being fulfilled right now. This really is my favorite part of the chapter, okay? Chapter 7, he says, Awake, O sword, against who? My shepherd. So before we're talking about the false prophets, and the parents are ashamed, they're going to try and deny that they were false prophets. Now he says, the sword is now turned to my shepherd. Okay, notice what it says. And against the man that is my fellow, saith who? So God says, the the Lord of hosts says, the sword now is going to turn to my shepherd and my fellow, saith the Lord of hosts. Let's see what it says. Smite the shepherd and the sheep shall be scattered. And I will turn mine hand upon the little ones. And it shall come to pass that in all the land, saith the Lord, two parts therein shall be cut off and die, but the third shall be left therein. And I will bring the third pat part through the fire and refine them as silver is refined and try them as gold is tried. They shall, what? How do you get saved? Call on, it's the same folks. And I will hear them. I will say it is my people and they shall say, the Lord is my God. Turn now to Matthew 26. And I want to show you just like we saw when he said they will look on him whom they have pierced. And Jesus said, this day, this has been fulfilled. They looked on him, as the, as the prophet said, they looked on him whom they pierced. So we saw very clearly that that was fulfilled, just as the Bible said, and I have it somewhere here in my notes, where the Bible says in John 19 is where that was fulfilled. Well, Matthew 26 is where Jerem- or Zechariah chapter 13, 7 to 9 is being fulfilled. Because look what it says in chapter 26 of Matthew. Look at verse 30. And when they sung in him, they went out into the Mount of Olives. Anybody know the context of that where they've sung a hymn? They went out to the Mount of Olives. Verse 31. Then saith Jesus unto them, All ye shall be offended because of me this night. For it is written, he's going to quote Zechariah now, I will smite the shepherd, and the sheep of the flock shall be scattered abroad. But after I am risen again, I will go before you into Galilee. So doesn't it sound like we're still in that day in the context of Zechariah 13? Smite the shepherd and the sheep will scatter.